Do you know what's interesting? I actually asked Vivek Ramaswamy himself in Iowa, what's your debate strategy going to be? And he said to me, I'm not going to attack anyone, anyone personally. Policies, yes. But then he did say that to Nikki Haley. And Nikki Haley was the only one who seemed to land a punch on him when she said, you have no foreign policy experience and it shows. According to NBC News, Vivek Ramaswamy, who, as we know, is a political outsider, was attacked the most on stage last night with 11 attacks to him. Do you think this is surprising because he was relatively unknown until last night? Well, yes, in a way, um, it, it certainly seems in a certain sense like punching down, but he was constantly interrupting. As I said, he looks like that kid who's constantly waving his hand. I have the answer, teacher. And uh, sort of getting in and making himself front and center. I also thought, surprisingly, that Pence was very active um, and he made a lot of arguments and he made quite explicitly, unusual in American politics, very explicit Christian references to himself. Um, but that may play well in a, uh, in, uh, for the primary audience. I, I, I liked the way that all of them said, this is not a raise your hand game. Uh, I understand why. I, I, I thought the Fox um, team did a good job given that they were trying to hurt cats. You know, this wasn't like they were, uh, n nobody can be a, um, a border collie trying to hurt sheep that actually want to get into the pen. This was more like hurting cats that didn't want to. But I thought they did a good job. I thought their questions were good, except for that last one to Chris Christie. Who, who the heck cares about UFOs as a campaign issue? If uh, if she had a, go ahead. No, I did feel him when he was like, are you seriously giving me the UFO question? And he did do a good job of pivoting that to make right. that a broad thing about his president or what he would do under a Christie presidency. Yeah, of transparency. Course. Yeah, I think if they had asked the question, as a transparency question, there are a lot of things we don't know about uh, that American people feel like they should. UFOs might be one. You could list a number of others. Uh, I, I thought that the one topic I wish they'd done a lot more on was the administrative state. And uh, the administrative state where, here's the point. Americans are increasingly ruled by mid-level bureaucrats who pass regulations, right? As opposed to Congress, uh, which passes laws that the president signs. And we're, we're ruled by executive orders by the president. That's the way that a king rules. And we're ruled by these mid-level uh, bureaucrats who tell us what kind of stove we can put in our house. Now, it may be that it's a good idea to uh, get rid of gas stoves, but if that is a case, and it affects uh, literally hundreds of millions of Americans, then our, our elected representatives ought to tell us about that. And I thought that uh, Ramaswamy, who's going to abolish essentially every federal agency, he says, how is he going to do that? He's got to pass, you know, legislation. But, you know, if you're going to abolish the IRS, how are you going to co collect taxes? You've got to set up a new agency in some way. And why won't it be the same as the old agency? The same would be true for the FBI or any of any of the other agencies. So you got to put a little meat on those bones, you know?